a report by the World Trade Organization saying that e-commerce is flourishing in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic. Various countries have put in place measures to curb the spread of uh, the virus, including lockdowns, and that has contributed to e-commerce flourishing. We want to explore what the situation is like here in Ghana. Joining me is CEO of Market Express, uh, GH, Ebenezer Latte. Good to have you uh, tonight on Business Live. So, can we say same for Ghana, uh, the e-commerce space here? Are we flourishing in these times of the coronavirus pandemic? Well, thank you, Daryl, for having me. Yeah, yeah. So thank you for having me on your show. Um, I would say that it is natural that um, e-commerce world experience some growth. And so um, it's the same case for Ghana and we are all experiencing a certain amount of growth. Um, there are people who normally would not um, use the online platform, but currently are giving it an, a chance. And so um, during the lockdown period, um, e-commerce definitely saw a very big jump in our operations. But um, after the lockdown, I think we returned to normalcy, but it's not like before. Um, at the moment, a lot of people are giving um, e-commerce an opportunity. And they are, some people are trying it for the first time. And so but that's good. Um, I, I pray that it becomes a new normal that we move into the new economy of the world. I want to hear about your experience because uh, you run an online a grocery shop. If you could tell us about what the situation was like before the COVID-19 pandemic and what it is now, and even after the lockdown. Okay, so we who run an online grocery, we basically survive on retention. And so we have customers that keep coming every time. Mm. But with this pandemic, we have an opportunity to encounter very, very new customers that we need to win and keep. So I think the ball is in our court to give them a good experience and make them see that there's a better way of doing things than how we are used to. Mm. I, I, I want to find out if it's just uh, you or people in your kind of business or it, it's like that for everybody in the space. Because I'm wondering, somebody in uh, the online travel and tourism business wouldn't have that same luck as you would have because you're doing groceries. OK, so, um, so it's not the same for everybody. I'll be naive to say it's the same for everybody. However, um, travel is connected to hospitality, and hospitality is completely down. Aviation is down. However, um, people need to shop, and you know how our markets are structured. If you don't, you know, I don't think anybody will feel safe in a traditional market if you're really concerned about your health. And so a lot of people who are concerned about their health are switching to online options. And I think that um, that's really the situation. It's mainly retail trade that's picking up online now and not necessarily the services online. Okay, I want to move on next and ask you about Jumia because if we talked about online uh, trading, Jumia was at the top. Now we are seeing uh, something happening with Jumia. What, what is it? Why is it taking a hit after the historic appearance on the NYSE? Wow. Okay, so it's difficult to talk about Jumia, but I just would say um, Jumia is an important uh, player in our market. Um, I think that we all acknowledge that Jumia is a leader and a pace setter, but we are all working hard behind them. And I think that the success of Jumia is the success for all of us in the ecosystem. And so it's not in our interest for Jumia to have challenges and go under. However, I think that um, Jumia's biggest issue has been with listing on the stock exchange and their stock prices basically permitting. So that has been the biggest challenge. And um, I think that they can resolve it. Um, we all look forward to them being able to um, survive it and, 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 and things will be better. Okay, apologies I put you on the spot on the Jumia situation, but uh, since we're talking about technology, 
Um, let's talk about the creation of the online portal for the submission of stimulus packages, uh, applications for stimulus packages that was announced by the MBSSI. Uh, what do you make of that? Okay, it looks like uh, looks like Ebenezer is frozen there. But uh, I guess you made the point about why the um, e-commerce space is flourishing here in Ghana. He's back on, uh, thankfully, Ebenezer. So I, I wanted to pick your thoughts on the online portal to be created for the submission of applications for uh, stimulus packages. Uh, what do you make of that move by the MBSSI and how effective it will be?